Hi everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to install PyTorch on Windows 11. So installing PyTorch in Windows 11 or maybe any other window is same and is super easy and simple. You just have to follow few steps and you can easily install it. So if you're new to PyTorch, so I'll tell you a little bit about it. So PyTorch is a popular open source machine learning library used for building and training deep learning models. It's known for its dynamic computation graphs, which allows for flexible and efficient experimentation with neural networks. Also, PyTorch is widely used in both academia and industry for tasks such as image classification, natural language, processing, and reinforcement learning. One of its key features is its ease of use and Pythonic syntax making it accessible for beginners while also offering advanced functionality for experienced researchers and developers. With PyTorch, users can easily define, optimize, and deploy deep learning models, making it a valuable tool for anyone working in the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning. So before the installation of PyTorch, we are required to have two things in our system. The number one is python and the second one is pip so first we have to get a python then we will get a pip and after that we will get the pytorch so to get a python you have to go to the browser here i'm using google chrome but you can choose any browser of your choice and you have to search for python.org or you can also find its link in the description below and once you get to its website you will see this option for download here we have this option for the windows but if you're using other operating system you can choose from there otherwise if you're on windows then you just have to simply click onto this option and it will start downloading once it get downloaded you just have to simply install it and once you install it the pip will also get installed with it i already have one therefore i'm not installing it once again after that we have to open the command prompt which is also called cmd if you don't know how to open it, so I'll tell you, you just have to simply go to this search bar there and you have to search for CMD and there you will see this command prompt. Once you open it, it will open something like this. So first we have to check that if Python has been installed or not. For that, you have to type Python space hyphen hyphen version and press the enter key and here it will show the version of Python that is installed. Now we have to do the same thing for pip. Therefore, we have to type pip space hyphen hyphen version to see if pip is also installed or not. And here you can see it shows its version. That means both Python and pip has been installed. Now it's time to get the PyTorch. So for that, you have to give it a command. You have to type pip space install space torch. That's it. And after that, you have to press the enter key and now it will start installing the PyTorch in the system. So this process will take some time. It will take around 10 minutes or maybe less because you can see we have 198 MBs to be downloaded. And once it get downloaded, it will automatically also install it. So here we just have to wait for like three to four minutes or maybe more based on your internet speed. If the internet is fast, then it will take less time. If it's slow, then it will take much time. Also, it depends on the proficiency of your system. So we just have to wait. And once this loading is done, we will see it shows that the PyTorch has been installed in Windows. So this is the latest version. That's why it is taking 198 MBs. The versions before it were less space taking. They were around 23 MBs or less. But now it has been updated its version therefore now it is taking 198 mbs make sure your system have that much space otherwise it will not get installed in your system as you can see the progress is happening and the mbs are getting less and less that means it is almost about to be completed and once it get completed you will see something like this here you can see it has been installed and here it also shows that this has been downloaded and installed in this system. So that's how you also have to just simply install the PyTorch in your system with the help of Python and pip. Make sure you have all these things in your system. Otherwise, if you don't have one, you cannot download and install a PyTorch.
So the process is simple to install a PyTorch in Windows. You have to go to the browser and there you have to search for Python. You have to download it, install it. Once you have installed it, the pip will also get installed with it. While you're installing it, you will see the option for pip. You have to go with it and both of the things will get installed. After that, you have to search for CMD and you have to test if these are installed or not. You have to search for their versions. If you see them, that means these are installed. And once you have both of these, you just have to give it a command, which is pip space install space torch. Once you do that, the installation will start. The installation will take up to 5 to 10 minutes. And once the installation is done, you will see that PyTorch is installed in your Windows. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. In case if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, then make sure to subscribe it for more informative videos and updates. Also press the bell icon button so whenever a new video gets posted, you can get notified. And at the last, thank you so much for watching the video till the very end.